first question based upon process scheduling we have been given four processes p1 p2 p3 and p4 and the scheduling algorithms used are shortest job first and round robin both of them are being considered for round robin the initial order in which they are executed is the same p1 to p4 with time quantum of 4 milliseconds we need to determine the absolute difference between the average turnaround times for these processes using the given scheduling algorithms so first let us go with sjf it is a non preemptive algorithm so we construct its gantt chart and the table for the processes p1 p2 p3 and p4 all of them are having the arrival time as 0 the burst times are given in the table as 8 7 2 and 4 respectively now in the gantt chart the first process to be executed will be p3 because it is having the smallest burst time so it executes for the first 2 milliseconds after which process p4 is scheduled which because it is the next smallest burst time up to 6 later on we have p2 for the next 7 milliseconds up to 13 finally we have p1 for next 8 milliseconds up to 21 so we got the completion times as for p1 it is 21 for p2 it's 13 for p3 we have 2 and for p4 it is 6 now we know that the turn around time is the difference between completion time and the arrival time which means the total time that the process has spent uh, during its execution so here since we have the arrival time is zero the completion time and turn around time would be same and we get the average turn around time as 21 and 13 is 34 36 and 6 42 so we get 42 upon 4 which will be 10.5 milliseconds that's the average turn around time we got for shortest job first algorithm now let us have a look at the round robin algo for the round robin algorithm we have the processes p1 p2 p3 p4 all of them with the arrival time as 0 burst times were given as 8 7 2 and 4 milliseconds now the time quantum given is 4 milliseconds and the order in which they initially execute is p1 to p4 so initially we push p1 to this queue and in the gantt chart for the first 4 milliseconds it is executed after which its burst time decreases to 4 the resulting burst time and up to 4 milliseconds all of its uh, the remaining processes p2 p3 and p4 had arrived so they are pushed next in this queue and after execution this p1 is popped off and pushed in the back next we execute p2 because that is to the front of the queue for the next 4 milliseconds up to 8 after which its burst time decreases to 3 it is popped out from here all the processes are already pushed so we push 2 from the other end next we execute p3 for just 2 milliseconds up to 10 because we take the smallest of the burst time and the time quantum so now it is executed just for 2 milliseconds and its uh, resulting burst time has become 0 it is popped off and no need to push that again next we have p4 for the next 4 milliseconds up to 14 after which it becomes zero popped off no need to push again then we have p1 for the next 4 milliseconds up to 18 after which it becomes zero and finally we have p2 up to 21 so now all the processes are executed so let us note down their completion times for p1 it is 18 for p2 it is 21 for p3 10 for p4 14 again over here the completion time and the turn around time will be same since arrival time is zero for all the processes so we find out the average turn around time from these let us sum them up 8 and 1 9 4 13 3 1 2 3 4 5 we get this as once in 2 so 15 point or oh, 37 so this gets becomes 15.75 milliseconds so for round robin algorithm this is the average bus uh, turn around time that we got
and for the shortest job first which we earlier saw it was 10.5 milliseconds and we wanted to find the absolute difference between the two so we simply subtract these two to get 5.25 milliseconds that is the absolute difference between turnaround times for these two scheduling algorithms so this will be our answer this was a numerical type question whose answer will be 5.25